In this video, we are going to look at some surgical and non-surgical instruments used in obstetrics and gynecology. Cusco's bivalve speculum is used to visualize the vagina and cervix during pelvic examination. Sim's speculum is used for both surgical and non-surgical procedures. It is used to retract the anterior and posterior vaginal wall during gynecological surgery. In addition, it can be used to examine uterovaginal prolapses. Episiotomy scissors are used to put the episiotomy during vaginal delivery. Here is a picture of an episiotomy. Cord scissor is used to cut the umbilical cord after the delivery of the baby. Uterine sound is used to assess the length and direction of the uterus during gynecological procedures, such as insertion of an intrauterine device. Mioma screw is used to hold the uterus during gynecological surgeries, such as the abdominal and laparoscopic hysterectomy, and myomectomy. This image shows a surgeon holding the uterus using a myoma screw. Doyen's retractor is mainly used in abdominal gynecological and obstetric surgeries to hold back the abdominal incision. It is also used in caesarean sections. Uterine curette has several uses. It is used to perform uterine curettage and obtain endometrial samples. In addition, it is used to remove adherent tissue during evacuation of retained products of conception after miscarriage and to break intrauterine adhesions during hysteroscopy. Leech-Wilkinson cannula is used during hysterosalpinglibram to inject the dye. Suction curette is used to remove retained products of conception after miscarriage and to perform termination of pregnancy. Pipel curette is used to obtain endometrial samples. Ayer spatula is used to obtain cervical smears for pap test. Cervical brush has the same use as the Ayer spatula. Heaver's dilators are used to dilate the cervical canal during dilation and curettage procedures. Green Armitage forceps have several uses. They are used to hold the pregnant cervix when inspecting for tears after delivery and during cervical circlage insertion. They are also used to hold the flaps of uterus and to control bleeding from uterine sinuses during caesarean section. Volcellum forceps are used to hold the uterus during hysterectomy for non-malignant conditions. To hold the cervix during intrauterine device insertion, pipel aspiration, and when performing a hysterosalpinglogram. In addition, it is used to hold the cervix during evacuation of retained products of conception in the first trimester. Then we have instruments used during instrumental delivery. Simpson's forceps are used in prolonged labor or fetal distress or maternal distress during the second stage of labor in the presence of an occipito anterior position or mento anterior face presentation. It is also used for the delivery of the aftercoming head of the fetus in breech presentation. Ridley's forceps are used for lift-out forceps deliveries when the head is 2 cm below the ischial spines and to deliver the fetal head during caesarean section. Finally, Keelan's forceps are used to rotate and deliver the head in occipito-posterior and occipito-transverse positions and to deliver the aftercoming head of breech presentation.